Hello, hello everyone. My name is Sistra and welcome to a new campaign. Once again, in Fall of the Samurai, because I love Fall of the Samurai very, very much. So, we are gonna go straight in and jump into a Satsuma playthrough. And so, bonuses when it comes to them, well, not really that great. They have 5 plus 2, um, well, reduction to administration costs. Pretty decent, I guess. Westernization, uh, minus cost of important veteran actions. I don't really use them that often, so I don't know how, I guess, relevant that will be to me. Dominion, begin with two promises, which is great, was good. Leadership, 15% uh, increase of general's radius of influence. Also a, um, I, I guess, a pretty decent trait, but not anything too, um, too mind-blowing, I guess. Anyway, we are going to play a domination campaign, and we are going to use the normal difficulty. And there are two reasons of that. Um, well, the first reason is the fact that I am absolutely tired of the AI doing silly decisions in order to hurt the player more than self-preservation or sticking to its alliances, stuff like that. And the second reason is that I want to try to make this a Republic campaign. And when I say that, I mean I do have an intention of trying to uh, declare myself independent and conquer all of, all of Japan in my name and not the Emperor's and not the Shogun's. But yeah, that is an ambition and uh, well, who knows? Will that ambition be realized or will we utterly fail? Glad to find out. So we are skipping all the intros because, well, you see them quite a few times already, I would imagine. So. Let's jump straight into clan development and grab us some traits that gives us mobilization. That's always great. And what to do next? Well, I want a barracks if I do not have it already. I can build one right here. Let's do so. We also start out with an enemy faction as you normally do. So let's find our daimyo. There he is. And let's have him actually lead our army. We already started the four veteran, that was pretty nice. Hmm. Very, very nice actually. So, with my navy, I'll first use it to, use it to scout out the islands and find ourselves some trade partners. That's always a good first step. Also, we should have a trading port already open. Yes, we can um, We can get a trade route, actually. And the Saga should be willing. We'll see. No, they are not willing. At all. Okay. So yeah. I do have a tiny bit of income. And I do have a, a stash of cash right now. And I want to use that stash to build units. Decent units. Yeah, I'm also using mods, by the way. One that, um, well, pretty much the same, same mods that I'm using in my Josiah campaign. So if you wonder what those mods are, go back to the first part of uh, that campaign and you'll you'll find that at the very start of the video. So yeah, we, I think we want to save up some cash in order to actually build units once we have this going. Also, will this increase uh, unit capacity? Nope. And that one will, but it's very expensive. So yeah, I think I might have to save a bit of money there. Also, you are a full-fledged port. That's always nice. But yeah, we can end it there. Also, should have done this on the very first turn. But I guess better late than never. Let's actually train our troops a little bit, since we have access to the foreign veteran already. Hmm. Do we need another spear levy? I don't know. Spear levy is not a unit we are gonna mass recruit, I think, because I I do prefer my uh, my modernized units, but who knows? There we go. We have encountered, encountered Tosha. 
So let's go to the wrong screen as we usually do. And here we go. And what do you know? Very friendly. And we have our first trade agreement. What is that all we could uh, actually get at this point? Yes, it was. So we are actually trading with two factions right now. That's quite nice. Let's set up a few few routes. Something like that. And after that, go here. Actually, have I discovered these guys? Yes, I have. Aren't they a vassal? Yes, they are. I actually forgot that I start with a vassal. That's also slightly unusual. I guess you could consider that a trait. Hmm. Maybe they should have written that up on the... On the, um... Campaign screen. Anyway. That is it for now. <clears throat> it's also another reason for um, me wanting to play this on easy. It's the fact that if I really want to go for the, um, the extra difficult Republic campaign, um, that's not going to be a joke. The, day, the difficulty you're facing then, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's very, very tricky to win when you have pretty much the entirety of Japan against you at the same time, because they all hate your guts. And there are there are some infighting in amongst the Shogunate and the Imperial supporting factions, but they will still, since you are the player, they will uh, tend to want to deliver as much pain to your face as possible. And uh, yeah, that's not fun, and it's not easy. So yeah, as I said, that's another reason for the um, normal difficulty. Hmm. I guess we didn't discover these guys. Not these guys, at least. Or maybe not these guys. I don't know. I'll probably see you soon anyway. Or, or you'll be uh, completely demolished. Either way, we don't really need to concern ourselves too much with you. There we go. And now we can set a course something like this. And look at all the clans we are encountering. Anyway, our construction is complete. Meaning? Mass recruitment of line infantry, uh, scouts, or saber cavalry. Well, could also pump out recruits, I guess. But I'm gonna go for the standard unit, which is the line infantry. Also, we can pump out loyalists, so I will do that now that we are actually trying to pump out an army. And our uh, saved up money will definitely come into good use. So, spring is arriving, that means campaigning season. Unfortunately for us, we are not ready for the campaigning season. But uh, we will be, very soon. Actually, two years of cavalry? Is that worth it? Maybe. Actually, let's just pump out line infantry and see what we can do with them. And we are almost running out of money. But we still got our queues up. That's pretty nice. I'm guessing that we... do not have a chance to trade anymore. Nope. Not right now. How goes our development? Three turns off. Okay. Quite nice. Okay, so yes, I do have actually several movements queued up for you. Well, not several. Let's see. There we go. Just get in here and discover all of these guys. 
There we have it. And move on. Same goes for you, really. Okay, another load from uh, that region, and maybe two loads from this region, and I think we should be uh, ready to move out. We'll have to see. I don't know. Maybe two more. Or we upgrade something else. Well, I guess that's not really our main priority right now. So, let's end the tone again. Yeah, the start of every campaign is pretty much slow, and and um, it will take a little while before you have a force that is actually capable of attacking an enemy province. This is not Shogun to the base game, where you can pretty much do that. This is a lot different. And if you try to assault the castle, and you don't have a high number of men compared to your enemy, you are basically screwed. Anyway, yeah, let's pump out one more and hold off, and I think we should be ready to invade. Also, look at that income. Yeah, we are, as I said, we are pumping out a lot of units. And that means that after that, after the next one, I think we'll try to capture this, because if we do not uh, successfully capture it, we actually are in debt, and uh, if you watch my Josiah campaign, once again, you know how detrimental debt is to your honor, and thereby your morale on the battlefield, and then that also results in the um, unrest because you have a dishonorable daimyo. That's fun. That's incredibly fun to deal with. Especially if you go into debt for three turns because you don't have enough money to repair your main trade porch. Which uh, definitely happened to me. And I do not want to talk too much about it. Anyway, we have built ourselves the first modernization building. Or, uh, we have researched the first modernization skill. Let's move swiftly along to the next. And back here again. So yeah, we're we're uh, close to going into severe debt. Hadn't it been for the uh, saved up money we had? So yeah, I think we are ready to invade at this point. Also, they have actually been begging me for a peace already, as you noticed. So I think they are seeing this force, and they're uh, they're a bit terrified. Oh well, let's see if they have anything to fear. Also, uh, before we go on, I just want to take a quick look to see if I have any buildings that lower my modernization. And I don't think I have that. No. That's good, because that's the last thing we want to do. Actually, something that can be very annoying is that is the fact uh, at that early on, you have these two skills that actually gives you modernization, but these ones, this and this, not that, but that, all gives you minus the modernization. And without modernization, you can't research the next tier. So, potentially, can be, can be screwing yourselves by researching everything that has to be that has to be with minus the modernization. Meaning that you can't do anything, and you have to invest in buildings like this one in order to increase your modernization level. That's slightly annoying. Oh well, let's end the turn. And move, move along, and actually start to invade. I offer this peace, a simple end to war before our people. That's not happening, bro. I almost accepted that. That would be slightly weird, taking into account what I just said. Quite nice. So yeah, just let this guy. Get upgraded slightly. 
Mm. I think we go down that route and also grab ourselves. That's quite nice. Isn't that the exact same thing? Plus 5% to reload and skill of rifle armed troops in army which this man is embedded. 5 plus percent to the reload skill of rifle armed troops in the army which this man is embedded. That's the exact same thing, so... Do I go for the Smith & Wesson or the Enfield? That's actually the question here. Who knows? Let's just go for that. But yeah. They're once again begging me for a peace agreement, which uh, gives me a lot of confidence. There we go, setting up some new routes, Ready for orders. and let's go ahead and see what Puyuga brings me. Well, moment of truth. Okay, I could have spared all the recruitment, I guess, because that was pretty auto-resolvable. So, yeah, we'll please you occupy because, because once you try to declare independence, all your vassals are not too happy about that, and they have a tendency to want to break free. Anyway, we accomplished our mission, and for that we get the Emperor's Mandate, and we'll spread our influence everywhere. Okay, so, new neighboring province is Uka. Let's see what they say. They say that the Shogun should be the, the rightful rule of Japan. Well, I'll have a word in that. I also, yes, I actually gained a, a port. Very nice. And that, of course, means more trade. So, let's see. We'll go for some major factions. And hopefully they won't get demolished. By the way, I don't have trade with my vassal. I'll have to get that, even though that might actually take the the slot I had. Yes, it did. I can't trade with these guys, but yeah, I'm planning to go to war with them, so that would be slightly weird. They do have allies, they do have Kumamoto, and they do have Kokura. Let's see where they're where they hide. There we go. Oh, you actually ally with them? That's interesting. Anyway, you also ally with them. So, you're both... You're allied with two Imperial factions. Which I don't really want to go to war with, shockingly enough. And one of them is actually my training partner. So that's two reasons for not go wanting to go to, to war with them. Anyway, we'll repair the strongholds. That will give me four, I think. Yeah, for the repression. Resistance to invaders will go away. This one will become a problem. And 12 garrison points. So yeah, it will take a little while before we can actually move along. Also, I think I'll send a few units back. Actually, I should probably dismiss a few units. Actually, let's keep the spare levy. They are useful against cavalry. But yeah, a few of the other units are rather expensive to keep there. Also, we captured a cannon, which was a wooden cannon, meaning that we can't destroy it, annoyingly enough. Actually, can, can we destroy it while it's in an army? No. But if we select two of them, we actually can. Let's try. No, this is indestructible, apparently. Oh well. So, 3 plus, and protection, meh, it's a stronghold, and I think that is the lowest of the tiers. Yeah, it only enables thing, 
thinks it doesn't require anything. So yeah, that's the low, lowest tier of fortress. And that's not good. At all. When it comes to defense. And defensibility, I guess. Oh well. We have another cadet school, which definitely will help me towards modernization. We are actually on the cusp of passing that, and this will definitely push me over that. So that's quite nice. Also, uh, we do not have that solid income right now. We have actually get, got ourselves an export item, which is quite nice. But as it stands right now, we don't have that much income. So yeah, I will probably have to move these guys out pretty soon. And... I'll either leave a few units behind, or I'll recruit a, a new garrison here. That's probably what we're gonna do, actually. Anyway, we can end that turn. And I think I need to give you guys new orders. You're also about to meet each other. And there we go. Development level increased. And that actually made us pass a mission, which is quite nice. So we have an added bonus when it comes to when it comes to um, income. So we actually gained a significant boost there. That's quite nice. So yeah, I will go for civil insight because I I actually like that tree quite a lot from the passive bonuses and trade and all of that. So we'll do that. There we go. And we are pretty much just a few clans short of of meeting them all. That's very very nice indeed. Yeah, we do have a trade item. And we'll probably upgrade that pretty early on. Might actually be the thing we save up for now. Or we save up for another building, yeah. I don't really know. By the way, do I have no I do not have? a police station, so pretty much all of the converting I will be doing is because I have a, uh, well, the ruling clan supports the Emperor, and uh, faction-wide skill and effects and commissions. Hmm. That's pretty nice, I guess. Anyway, was that it? Uh, we did repair that, and that gives us plus three. Not that great. Not when taking into account that our garrison forces provide 12 to repression. Meaning that we have to get 9 more to repression. So that will go away, but this will unfortunately go up. So we have a problem. I probably have to build a police station here. Even though I definitely do not want to build it. I want to spend money elsewhere. But what can you do? When it is required, it is required. Quite obviously. Anyway. Let's go to the clan development. And two turns left. And that bonus. Let's see that one. That will last for a year actually. That's very nice. So yeah, that is actually stabilizing. This is going down, this is going up. Oh dear. But yeah, let's build a police station. That might be needed. So, before I forget, have you two guys actually join up? Again? After your trip around Japan? And you can finally go home! Congrats! All that took, well, once they're back, that definitely took way over half a year. Just making sure that they do not actually run into any, any other fleets and completely stop them up. Okay, three turns, and then we have our police station. Once again. Just end the turn. Oh, you're taking that route. Should be shorter, if they want to go that way. 
But yeah, just I just have to uh, pay attention to them and make sure that they do not bump into an enemy or not enemy, but any fleet actually. Any fleet can just stop them dead in the tracks. Quite annoyingly, but what can you do? So yeah, I will go straight for cordi cordial relations, and after that, I will jump down to foreign affairs unless something happens that. Uh, makes me uh, required to research something else, which I don't really see happening. Anyway, we have enough money to upgrade that, which will increase our income, which is very nice. Also, how long will that income boost last? Nine more turns. That's very, very nice indeed. Oh yeah, it's this thing that gives me the uh, the massive bonus here. The commissions and faction-wide skill effects. That's that one. Unit replenishment rate, quite nice, but not really using that right now. Just take a look at the control. Yes, it's still still the same thing. This going down, this going up. But at a point, they, uh, that will go down again once the pro emperor uh, sentiment is a lot stronger. So yeah, let's end the turn again. Once again, a lot of uh, quick turns at the start of campaigns. And once again, uh, that is very normal. And that is why I'm trying to blast through it as quickly as possible. I'm so... So disappointed in you. Also, you're one of uh, my... New enemies, rivals. Not rivals, but allies. So... That is, um, interesting. Oh, it's you guys. Hmm. That's interesting. Are you wanting to clear... Do you want to clear war on me? Probably. Anyway, let's send a few units back to Satsuma. Actually, let's send two units to Satsuma and then send... Hmm. I guess we'll we'll start recruiting here if we, we see they are going to attack. That's going to be quite evident. Also, did the repression actually stay the same there? That's interesting. Resistance to invaders is going away completely. non clad allegiance is not growing. That's very nice. The police station is finally up. And the um, should we go straight for the magistrate? We have the, the, the income boost we just got. That's very nice. We might do that, actually. Yeah, it will give repression and it will give... It will give flippage of, of the... Um, of the alliances, or of the, um, what's the name for it? Loyalty. There we go. So, yeah. Let's end the turn. Still steaming ahead. It's a long trip home. Clan destroyed. Nagaoka. Yeah, F you, Nagoka. You've been delivering me so much pain, and so much unneeded and unwarranted troubles in my other campaign at the moment, the Josai campaign, that I really, really have no love for you. They actually were overrun by rebels, interestingly enough. But yeah, no sympathy is there. I really, really effing dislike them. Anyway. Three turns away, okay. We can upgrade the barracks. That's definitely a possibility. But I also want to save money to build a trading porch. Okay, that's not gonna cost that much. But how many turns is that away? Four turns, okay. So, I think we can... Uh, can, can definitely argue that we have a good reason for uh, upgrading that. Oh! So, uh, you decided to declare war. Yeah, we're wondering when you suddenly flipped and then suddenly showed the big army there. So yeah, those guys wanted to declare war. Actually, you declare war and your allies didn't join you. Sucks to be you then, I guess. Then I will just go straight and attack you instead of just going up here and doing not that much. So yeah, let's build that, and also let's build garrisons so that they hopefully do not flip out and uh, yes, 
rebel. That would not be fun. That, of course, leaving me with uh, a, a diminished income, definitely. Oh well, what can I do? These guys are not that happy about the modernization, but uh, who can blame them, really? People don't like change. It's usually the case. But yeah, we should be able to take their army on the battlefield. So yeah, the only faction I am at war with right now is actually them. And they only have that province. So I don't think it's looking that good for them right now. Also, I'm actually getting my navy back, as I stated previously. So they should be able to join me with naval bombardments. Unless the battle happened like there. We'll see. Depends on how quick they they want to be with their attack. Oh, I didn't cancel your movement order. Well, one turn and you're back to where you used to be. So, no issue there. Hmm. Actually, we do have a lot more movement points if we drop the artillery. And... Um, I guess you could say quote-unquote artillery. Also, we are actually getting control of this, so we do not need to do that further. That building will be finished, the um, magistrate, on the very next turn, actually. So that will definitely help out a lot. Just want to double-check here. So it will give happiness, and it will also give repression. So in reality, it will actually give uh, not one, but two to this. That's very nice. Doesn't say anything about the added repression here, but yeah, that's going to happen. And our pro-emperor is stronger than pro-shogun sentiment. So, non-clan allegiance was at 5 and is now going down. Just what I want to see. But yeah, we'll join them up. And go to war. Oh yeah, it's really important to grab as many provinces as possible before all of the other factions do it quicker than you. Because if you allow them to do that, once you go up against them, then you're in serious trouble. Okay, so it's autumn. Fall. And... Hmm. I don't know. You don't want to be campaigning in the winter months, that's for sure. But hopefully we can quickly get to Higo, and if we can't, well, I guess we'll uh, we'll Napoleon it. Oh, here is the army. I didn't see you there. Very nice army you have there. Shame for them think what to happen to it. Yeah, they have levy infantry and they have spear levy. They have a few decent melee units, so I guess that's quite good for them. That is, but yeah. Also, let's grab the artillery, but because why not? You're within range. So yeah, we'll attack these guys in the next part. So, I hope you enjoyed this first part. Like this part if you enjoyed this campaign up until now. Comment on what you think about the campaign choice. And, of course, if this is the first video you see of me and you're not subscribed, then definitely think about hitting that subscribe button. Also, I would uh, really enjoy if you share this first part if you liked it as is always important with the first part of a new campaign. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. I hope you enjoyed it once again, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.